you never read much Lovecraft, have you? No. I have it, but I have not read it yet, like a lot of other things. It's good to read on a ferry ride or when you're house sitting for a friend's house in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The more alone and remote you are, the better it is to read Lovecraft. And the more stoned out of your gourd you are, <laughs> it works even better. Because some of it's so poorly written, like people don't like to acknowledge it, but yeah. He was a pulp writer. Right. You know, he didn't, he, he wasn't like, uh, people, he was reading like James Joyce and and hg uh, wells but those weren't like coffee table names like they are nowadays right like people people weren't reading those like yeah. they weren't classics then no i uh, you know i actually read moby dick on a plane that was really? not a smart idea <laughs> why <laughs> it's like 500 pages of being alone in a in this ship Meanwhile, I'm alone in a plane. <laughs> I was, it was actually a long flight. I think it was 17 hours. 17 hours? Where, yeah. the, where are you going? <laughs> we went to Shanghai. Oh, yeah? And uh, I just like the whole way, I, I started losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, I literally started looking out at the looking out at the uh, the clouds and since they were white i kept on thinking that they were moby deck for a second what <laughs> that's what 17 hours in a plane will do to you meanwhile you're reading melville <laughs> <laughs> he's like we got to get the whale and i'm like there it is damn harada root <laughs> god that was that was not so fun would not recommend that what were you going to Shanghai for? It was a like a week long trip. And I've been, uh, I traveled, like two big trips about uh, eight years ago now, seven eight years ago. Two really big trips, and then okay, so, like so nothing here's my sense. Question. So did you eat food while you were in China? Uh, uh yes. Since I was okay. there for a week, I'm pretty sure I ate at least once or twice. And you had Chinese food, right? Tons of Chinese food. Is it anything like the the Chinese food that they have in America? It depends on where you go. Um, oh. If if their big seller is orange chicken, then chances are it's not authentic Chinese food. Okay. Uh, they don't also don't have fried rice. At all. Okay. And no soy sauce anywhere. Good, because I fucking hate soy sauce. I love soy sauce. I was so. What? So upset that I couldn't put soy sauce on the rice that they kept on giving me. So much rice. Uh, but uh, sweet and sour, that was served a lot. Um, beef and broccoli, of course, is not Chinese. <laughs> surprise, surprise, broccoli is Italian. <laughs> not Chinese. But broccoli sounds so Chinese. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think what else... A lot of fish. They did a lot of fish because we were like near lakes and stuff like that. A lot. Mm -hmm. um, Yangtze River. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, did see that river. That was that was one hell of a big river. <laughs> Good God. Uh, fried gluten. That. that one was real. Fried what? Gluten. That's what fried they called. Fla fla fried gluten, which is pretty much dumplings. But, well, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, but it was, uh, it was it actually was pretty good, uh, and everything came with a giant bowl of rice nice. and really small plates. You know what? You should uh, you should do Romance of the Three Kingdoms. <laughs> I'm sure that, I'm yeah. sure that wouldn't kill you, right? Ooh, God. I have never finished that. <laughs> you, have you even seen like the uh, the show or the book? Uh, the I have book? I have heard of the book, but I have not seen it. It's kind of like uh, Proust. Yeah. You know, I've heard of it, but nobody has it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's willing to try to sell that. For those of you guys that don't know, those things are ridiculously long. Uh, I know Proust because I, I just looked it up. Uh, Oh shit, what's in here? 
Do I oh. dare go in here? I yeah, think I, I think you're supposed to. Uh, Proust, Marcel Proust wrote one giant ass book that they sell in seven parts because it's so big. It's called um, in, in Search of Time Lost. There's, there's a few different translations of it, but that's kind of one of the accepted ones. Uh, 14,000 pages. That is how long that book is. What's it even about? It, was it supposed to be some sort of uh, philosophical text? Because I hear people yeah. say it, talk about it like that. Yeah, it's, it's philosophical. It's pretty much, based on what I've read so far of it, about it, it's more like um, his life journey. Just oh. his entire life, it seems like. Can well, I guess I don't feel so bad about reading uh, Kant and Copenhagen, or whatever his name is. Sch Schopenhauer, that's it. Schopenhauer. <laughs> Copenhagen, Schopenhauer. Whatever, same, same thing. Difference. Same thing. I don't know what any of this is doing. There are just levers, and I am pulling them. I think we need to try and find a way to get up. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, so that might be let's... hard with those spikes. As well. Yeah, there's a, there's a few spikes here, but I think I can find one or two spots that I can stand. That should be good. There we go. And then don't get squished by the ceiling. Yeah, don't fall on the ceiling. I think it'll only take me like one up, though. That's okay. I think it's a w only one level up at a time. So, okay. well, and then it looks like a spiral staircase. This looks end game. I don't. Hey, there's a hanging zombie. Surprisingly, this isn't even end game. This isn't. This end isn't game. even beginning of end. Well, I guess it is beginning of the the, the main quest, but it oh, takes. God, it's a long she, main quest. It is really. She yeah. runs so weird. Okay, uh, I need a Zura star. I like her hands out like that. I know. Like, what? No. What are you doing? No. And she spawned a little one. I don't care it's about the little one. Lustra the spider woman. Uh, oh no, she healed herself. Go. Die. There we go. Yeah, Captured no. her soul. I read uh, Schopenhauer and, and Kant. Um, when I was first starting out in college, and I I was getting immaculately high at the time too, so it messed with my brain to the point that I started having existential crises. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good place to be. Uh, no. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I, 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 now I, I don't know what the point of this is. I, am, uh, I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be here yet. Like, this is something quest-related. Mm. But what, What's the middle of this thing? Is it's a blood in? fountain that healed me. Ah, I'll just leave this place. Yeah, right. I've read some... Wait, Kant is deontology, right? Where it's all about what you should be doing and things like that? Um... Well, I read the critique of pure reason. Ah. Or no, wait. Is that Kant? Or what? No, he wrote pure reason. Schopenhauer wrote the critique of pure reason, I think. That's the way it is. I think. Anyways, he was all about... I remember reading about, like... He's trying to talk about objects being things in themselves and how there's, like, uh, more a priori things, which just means th that uh, just objects can exist without having to um, refer to anything else. And Schopenhauer is like, no, that's not the way it is. You only think about it that way because you have references for this stuff, and it gets all weird and <laughs> like pseudo postmodern, and yeah, then you start going crazy, and you're like, oh my god, I'm only a reference, right. a replica. <laughs> uh, that, well, yeah, when you start getting into philosophical stuff, they just kind of leave you with no answers whatsoever. And then I used to. <laughs> I used to um, there's this guy that I used to talk with regularly, and he would be like, uh, he had this doctorate in philosophy, and I asked him, like, how did you do it? Like, how did you think about all this shit? And he's like, I didn't really think about it too much. <laughs> like, really? You got a doctorate about it? Right. I, about I, don't, it I try much? not to think about my major too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know 
very many people that got a doctorate or any kind of degree in, in philosophy that will even admit to knowing anything about philosophy. It's the craziest thing. <laughs> They're just like, well, I can tell you what other people believe. And I'm like, well, that's not quite the same thing, is it? <laughs> oh. There is an armored Daedra here. He got a bow. He has a bow, and I, I kind of want the bow. Oh, he's Dramora. No longer Daedra. He's pretty damn weak. You assume he's got a... No, he's got a Dramora light bow. That's not very good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Can I carry these? He's got 281 arrows. Yeah, he had 281 arrows. I'm switching over to these. What was it? Like, Dramora... Dramora field arrows. They're not as good as what I had, but I have a shit ton of them. So, I'm gonna grab them. Now I've gone in, like, complete circles, so... I think that tower... Yeah, it looks like this tower is where I need to go. Maybe. Uh, maybe. maybe. It's one of these towers, I know it. I'm not really seeing where it would be... No, yeah, that's the tower that we were in. Where I is there another tower? There's, there's two... Uh, yeah, there's oh, there's two. a big tower right there. There's that's a the big one you tower need to get in into. the middle. Okay, that's the one. You walk past all the, the the dead things you killed. Ah, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh God. Whoa. Heal yourself. <laughs> Whoa. Did not expect that. There's uh, landmines. Landmines are no joke. Oh shit, dude. What the hell's going on? Your speed's uh, being drained. My speed's being drained from it too. Oh, jeez. As long as I can trap your soul, I'll be happy. This little expedition... It's not working out so well for me. It does remind me of the ghost gate in... in Morrowind a bit. Yeah, <laughs> except you're gonna have to go back here lots of times. Yeah, I imagine. This will probably be the one video you want to do because... basically this is a process. There's oblivion gates that open and you just walked into one. <laughs> and, uh... I'm not going to spoil it, but you're going to be doing this a few more times. That does not surprise me. Yeah. Have I been here? Uh, what the hell is this? A stunted scamp that is dead. It's kind of cool. in a weird position. That's why I didn't ask. Okay, let's go in here. Surely things will work out well for me here. So, it was a preemie scamp? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little short. It's a dwarf scamp. Ah, crap. God. Okay, this should not be too difficult. No, not too bad, but I think they both saw me when I walked in. Oh, he's got some reach. Did he stab you? He did. He was like 10 feet away, and he got me. Oh, what the hell? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Uh, I guess you might want to save often. <laughs> uh, uh. If you die, is that it for for this guy too? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he brought friends. There are friends here now. Jesus, you won't die. God. Did I? He's still not dead. This guy right here. Why aren't oh you dead? My god. Oh my god. Heal? Are you dead yet? He is dead. Okay. So that guy's real. That guy is not summoned. Who are you? What are you? Dramora. Marauder? Dramora Mar with a name. He's got a name. He's got a freaking uh, Ashlander name of some kind. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, down he goes. And your guy ran out. You're bare-fisted. Cool. So who cares about you? <laughs> so wait, you I can disarm them. people now? Uh, I can't. I cannot disarm people. I paralyze them. And that's what it looks like when I paralyze it with the green stuff all around them. Cool. You got sarin gas in your arrows. <laughs> uh, I wish I had ricin. It would have been a lot more effective. 
Yeah, might have took a while. <laughs> it doesn't. It would take a couple days, but I could just leave them. All right, give me that. And I'm already down to 222 arrows. Uh, four or five agility. Of agility. Yeah, that's pretty might good. be a good hawk. Oh, nice. Flawless diamond, too. Tomorrow Claymore is not so good. Where, where'd the other guy go? There he is. God, what's with their loin cloths? They're always in the weirdest positions. I don't know. Do you want to fix it for him? No, not really. <laughs> not right now. Okay, to the, to the rending halls. Yep. That's, that sounds good, right? That sounds promising. Okay, that's just... That kind of reminds me of Diablo. It, it does have the gothic feel to it, definitely. All right, let's drop a save, because I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. Oh, he spots me before the door even finishes opening. It's got all of the pointy stuff, too. Yeah, the spikes everywhere. Ah, I forgot to re-up this thing. Give me more of that. Okay, we're good. There, now I'm doing damage. And the clan fear is blocked off. And now he's down on the ground, so this is working out well for me. <laughs> clan fear is like pushing <laughs> him down the stairs. <laughs> God, these guys are tanky. So much health. Okay. You have captured a soul. And these guys have names. They're not just regular guys. Nice Warhammer. Zivali. Um, that I am not familiar with. <laughs> hey, this thing. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? Oh, and he's got the god voice. Got a god voice? You know, the deep, throaty, um, hollow-sounding voice. 